Hey, this is Ains from AtlanticBodySystem.com and today I just want to quickly run through one or two exercise variations you can do at home or in the office if you have an office chair like the one I'm sitting on. You know the ones with the swivelly wheels so they move about, creates a little bit of instability. Um, so, here's two exercises I'm going to show you today actually. First one, ground for the hamstrings, glutes. Everyone's in the stability ball hamstring curl or leg curl. So basically what I'm going to do, I don't have a ball, I'm going to use the chair. So I'm going to go into my ground position, get my heels up on the seat, on the chair. From here, relax my head back, hands down by my side. I'm going to push the chair away and I have to do a lift my hips so my body's in a straight line here from ankle through the knee, hip and shoulder. Now from here, I'm going to curl in, pull my heels in towards my backside, and extend back out. Pull in, stand out. Pull in, stand out. Pull in, and extend out. Great exercise. Really feel that in the hamstring glutes. Actually get a good bit of work still in the calves, just the position that the heel is in as you pull in. Gets more calf involvement. Again, if you are quite advanced, you can progress the single leg variation, but it's going to be quite difficult, quite taxing. So I'm not going to try that today. Next exercise, everybody's probably seen the, uh, the little lab wheel, lab rollers. You know, quite a good useful tool. Some people will do stability ball rollouts. So, same principle here, you're going to do a rollout using the chair. Grasp hand each side of the chair. What are you going to do? Slide or roll the chair away from you and as far as you can go. Bracing your ass, getting tight, pull them back in. So, rolling out, pull them back in. Again, another way we can progress this is to go to a standing position and do it from standing position. But what I'll do with standing, again, it's going to be a lot more challenging. And most of the work is actually done when you're pulling back in, not rolling away. So, because it's going to be standing, it's going to be more difficult. What I'll do is I'll stand as I roll out. When I get into my extended position, I'll slowly, very slowly, lower my knees to the ground and then pull back in. You'll see as I do it. So, standing position, roll out, slowly lower down the knees, pull back in, stand back up. Roll out, slowly lower the knees down, pull back in, stand back up, roll it out, slowly lower the knees, pull back in. Great one for the ass. Now again, I'm not saying you go and do all these exercises, but I'm just saying if you're at home, you're looking for something to do, you got to look around, be a bit innovative with the equipment that you have and know what you, eat, what, know what you can use it for. And same for in the office, you're strapped for time. I don't want to see you bringing a, an office chair into the gym just to do this exercise. Use a roller or use a ball if you're there. Um, but there's two pretty cool exercises using an office chair. Again, check out the website, athleticbodysystem.com.